Hello, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello. Good night. Hey, good evening. How are you? How are you tonight, everyone? Hello. Good night, teacher. Hey, good evening. How are you? Welcome to one more class. Gabby, Aaron, Sochi, Janilet, Sandra Margarita. We have Maria Emilia, Nevi, Ada, Adelisset. We have Judy and Diego. Welcome to your class. How are you guys? You're I'm fine. Good? fine. You're fine? Excellent. With more energy for one more class? Full energy. Full energy, perfect, that's very good. Okay, remember that yesterday we were practicing with the WH question words, and that is to investigate a specific things. So we were studying about to this form, about who, what, when, where, why, how, and which, but we didn't finish, right? We need to continue with who's. And what we investigate with who's? Well, it is used to ask about ownership or possession. Basically, you investigate who is the person that possess one thing, like the king. You investigate that. For example, whose phone is this? The king is the telephone. Whose phone is this? Other examples we can have is like this. Whose computer is that? And you can answer with possessive because we investigate possessive form. So you can answer, whose computer is that? Okay. It's this. mine. Excellent. This is my computer. I... Excellent. This is my computer. You respond with a possession form. Now, another case. Whose? You got in the case of that. Whose a notebook, for example. Whose notebook is that whose notebook is that maybe the microphone uh -huh. this notebook is whose notebook is tight is that it's that is that uh -huh. the key is just a cuaderno that this is me is my notebook all right, that's good. You can say that is, you can say this is. Remember, that is depending on the distance, right? El demostrativo de acá, recordemos que depende de la distancia, ¿verdad? Donde uno se encuentra. So let's suppose that is, in the case of whose computer is that? And in the answer, you say, this is my computer. Porque la persona que responde tiene la computadora cerca. Todo depende de la distancia. But also you can answer like this. En ese caso, entonces, Miss, no es necesario responder nuevamente con el das. Se puede hacer con el tis. Ajá. Todo depende de la distancia. Es la distancia. Quien tenga el objeto cerca, entonces tiene que utilizar this. Pero si siempre está lejos, entonces es that. Pero también se puede re responder con el, el sujeto, ya que hablamos de una posesión. Entonces, el sujeto es it. So, you can say, it's, for example, your. your notebook. Ah, correct. So, whose notebook is that? It's your notebook. Es tu cuaderno. So, it's to investigate possession. It's possession form. Any question? Question with whose? No questions? Let's do a practice. Adalis said, whose pen is that? I see that you have a pen, right? Yes. Whose pen yes. is that? It's mine. Ah, this is my pen. Okay, <laughs> excellent. That's correct. This is my pen. Or also you can say, it's my pen. The two forms are correct to say it. Good one. Okay. Now, let's erase this one. And let's continue to the next part. We have another slideshow here to continue practicing. We have more WH questions. 
You can also investigate what time, like to investigate the hour, right? The specific hour. For example, what time is it? According to the clock, what time is it? We have three options. Gabriela, can you read option A, please? La que dice 8 p.m., esa es, sí. Eh, no, option no. A, just read it. Leámosla. A, it's? It's 12 o'clock. That's very good. Thank you. Let's see, Sandra Margarita. Read option B. It's? It's 2 o'clock. O'clock. O'clock, that means en punto. O'clock. That's good. I don't. Option C. The microphone, please. Thank Sorry. You. Okay. It's okay. It, thank you. Thank you. It's at it's at eight it's, o'clock. It's it's one. It's one. Oh, what what pregunta? Perdón. It's option C. Option C. This option. Like what time is it? Option C. It's. It's one? It's one o'clock. O'clock, that's good. Okay, now what is the correct answer? Option A, B, or C? A. Option A, right? A. Because, yeah, the clock is marking 12 o'clock. Yeah, that's correct. So then we have numbers too. And you formulate the question, what time is it? Now, Let's see, we have other questions, WH question with Gwen. Remember Gwen investigates also about the time. Like when is your class is at 8 p.m. Right? So we have a specific, a specific time. With what? What is this? If you say it's a tablet, who investigate person? Who are you? And Mike. The new technician. Where? Where is Dana? Who can give me an answer? A possible answer. Where is Dana? What can be a possible next, answer? Uh -huh. Next to the teacher. Okay, so what is the subject? As Dana is he or she? Uh, she. 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 Ah, that's good. She is? Next to the, the teacher. teacher. Excellent. That's very good. She's next to the teacher. That's right. Good. Now we have the reason to look for a reason. We have the question word why. Why are you sad? Because my pet is sick. Now with how. Remember how is the method or the manner. For example, how are you? Very common question. <clears throat> Possible answer. How are you, Sandra Margarita? I am fine. I am fine, good. Okay, or you can say, I'm fine. I'm fine, thank you. You can also say, I'm great. Um, es casi como la misma pregunta que estábamos viendo ayer. It's similar to that one, but yesterday we saw how old are you? How old are you? Uh -huh. Just that this one investigate like, the manner. How are you? ¿Cómo estás? And the other one, how old are you? ¿Qué edad tiene? They are sound very similar. Uh -huh. But how old are you? Investigates the age. Y en esa podría responder good and you? Sure, yes. Ooh, we have different manners. Good, I'm good. I'm you. I'm good. I'm very well, also. I can you. And you. I'm very well. Different manners. Like to respond the question, how are you? Now, we have others like to continue practicing with that. Let's check the next one. 
this part. Okay, let's go ahead with this. We have another combination using what, like what, plus the verb be, plus noun, plus like. For example, what's the weather like when you want to investigate the climate? We know we have different manners of the climate. Like, what's the weather like? Option A, it's sunny. Option B, it's rainy. Option C, it's windy. Or option D, it's stormy. What is the correct option? Green. It's option B, that's correct, because look, it's raining. It's not sunny, right? Because we don't see the it's sun. Rainy. It's rainy, that's correct. Now, we can also ask about, look at the, this place. What place is this? What place is this? Hospital. <laughs> El Pital, right? That's good. So you can formulate that question here. What? Hospital. Like. ¿Cómo es el pital? You can describe it. What's el pital like? Tell me. Is it hot? Is it beautiful? Is big? Cold. Is it small? It's cold. It's, uh -huh. Uh -huh. it's beautiful. Aha, uh -huh. that's good. It's cold. Very and cold. Very cold. Absolutely. Yes. Uh -huh. You can put also more emphasis. It's very cold. Very cold and beautiful. So that's. You ask about the appearance of something. What's the pital like? Okay, it's very cold and beautiful. Now let's check another form. Other questions that we can ask. Let's see this one. This is to know about who is the specific persons. For example, who's that girl who's that girl who knows madonna ah very good she's madonna that's good okay do you remember some songs by madonna mm -hmm. what songs does she sing la isla uh, bonita for example uh, de de isla bonita. <laughs> uh -huh, la isla bonita uh-huh what oh, is another song uh-huh yeah. I'm sorry. Another song. I don't. I don't remember. She has I a lot of songs, right? Yes. She has a lot of a lot of songs, and they are very good. Good songs. She has good music. So who's that? You say she's Madonna. She's Madonna. Okay, what about this one? Who's that? Who's that? We have a man here. Who's that man? He is He's the, the president. president of Salvador. He's the president from El Salvador. All right, so he is the president of El Salvador. Nayib Bukele. Uh, he is Nayib Bukele, correct. You can say it like that. He is Nayib Bukele, the president of El Salvador. He is a beautiful woman. <laughs> he is a beautiful. Okay, that's the case of my uh, Madonna, right? She is a beautiful woman, right? The case of Madonna. This is Nayib Bukele, the president of El Salvador. Now, so you can also ask, what's Madonna like? What's Madonna like? Like to investigate, like, como es, como es Madonna? Is she generous? Is she purity? Is she beautiful? What's Madonna yeah. like? She's beautiful. Okay. She's pretty. 
She's pretty. Okay. Um, a good person. I don't know, but it, it's example. <laughs> it's an example. It's a good example. We don't know if she's a good person. We don't know. <laughs> but it's a good example. She's beautiful. Okay. What about uh, the president? The president of El Salvador. What's uh, the president he, like? Uh, he's he, tall. He is tall. Tall. Okay, that is different because it's about appearance. Ah, it, let's say internally, internally, internal characteristics. Oh, um, intelligent. Okay, he's intelligent. He's intelligent. All right, good one. So you're describing the manner how the person is. Now, let's ask a good, he's a friendly. A, he's a friendly. Good a good dictator. Uh -huh, that's right. <laughs> that's a good description, right? That's good. You can give different description because they are internal characteristics. Then you say that he's friendly, right? Also, you say he's friendly. So different characteristics, right? So not only to describe a place, no solo in, in, se refiere para describir lugares, sino también para personas. Es como es un lugar, como es alguien. Is that different situation that you can make a, a description with. Questions? Do you have questions here? No questions about that? Teachers. No, teacher. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Tell me. Tell me, Aaron. Eh, o sea que esta, pregu esta pregunta, Gus, Gustad, generaliza, generaliza eh, cosas o, o, o como le puedo decir, como podemos, podemos eh, como sacar conclusiones de algún lugar o cosa o de una persona, podemos describirla. En this case, it's only about persons. Acá solo sería para personas, pero acá investiga el primero, el primer ejemplo que vimos es ¿Quién es ese? ¿Quién es esa? Like, who's that? Pero solo aplica who's para that? personas. Like, Eso es más para personas, aplica más para personas. Only persons, correct, porque lleva el WH who. Only persons. Who. Only persons, correct. Ahora, si investigamos ¿Qué es eso? Ya entonces tendría que ser what's that? Para cosas. What's, what's that? What's that? Uh -huh, correct. It only applies oh, for persons. Uh -huh, correct. Y acá pues investigamos acerca de la persona. ¿Quién es eso? Like, who's that? Or who's that girl? ¿Quién es esa chica? Who's that girl? Ah, and then you say, she's Madonna. Y acá pues investigamos cómo es Madonna. Like her personality. It's, what's Madonna like? But also you can investigate about places. Like uh, if you investigate this, if you go here, eh, like when you investigate, oh, what's the weather like? ¿Cómo está el clima? You say, it's sunny, it's rainy, it's windy, it's stormy. Or in the case of a place, si es también de un lugar, porque uno también puede describir un lugar, porque ¿cómo es un lugar? What's the hospital like? What um, Coatepeque like? How is the lago de Coatepeque? How is that place? Or what is Coatepeque a, like? Uh -huh. Siempre it's, tiene que llevar like. It's beautiful. Like, uh -huh. solo que acá como usted investiga como cómo es el lugar. Mm -hmm. Or you can investigate eh, how is, cómo es. Porque también eh, quiere saber la manera. Pero para eh, sustituir ese how, Podemos formularlo así, like what is, y luego indicamos el lugar, y luego incluimos like, what's the hospital oh, okay. like, what is, eh, what is eh, centro histórico like, se lleva a esta misma combinación. So, lo que lo vamos cambiando acá es el nombre, el nombre que puede ser un lugar, o puede ser una persona, como el que practicábamos de Madonna, what's Madonna like? And then you gave the examples. Oh, she's beautiful. She's a good person. She's generous. Or about the president. You give descriptions. Se dan descripciones. De cómo es algo o alguien. 
pero en específico, si investigamos como who, quién es ese y quién es ese, entonces tiene que de llevar who, who is. Por who, si es una contracción. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are going to take some uh, minutes to uh, have the list, guys. We're going to check the list. So tell me if you are present. Okay, let's see. Aaron Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Adalice. Present. Thank you. Alejandra Margarita. Alejandra Margarita. No. Ariel Alexandra. Present. Thank you. Blanca Rosa. Present. Thank you. Brian René. Brian René. No present. Douglas Heriberto. Douglas Heriberto. Elmer Edenilson. Elmer Edenilson. No. Fernando de Jesús. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Abigail. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Susana. Jocelyn Susana. Juan Alberto. Present? Yes. Kenya Vanessa? Kenya Vanessa? Present. Thank you. Maria Present. Emilia? Thank you. Maria Emilia? Maria Emilia? Marisol Elizabeth? Marisol Elizabeth. Hola. Hello, Marisol. You present? Um, sí. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Nevi Solina. Present, Miss. Thank you. Rafael Antonio. Present. Thank you so much. Rebecca Vanessa. Present. Thank you. Sandra Guadalupe. Sandra Guadalupe. Miss, aquí estoy. Lo que pasa es que me había Sandra. trabado. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you. Sandra Margarita. Present. Thank you. Sochil Janilet. Present. Thank you. Judy Edith. Present. Thank you so much, guys. Let's continue then with our class. Teacher. Hello. Ahí puso Emily presente, no sé si. Ah, yes. Puso. Yes, yes, yes. I have you present. Yes, Maria Emilia. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, thank you very much. Let me check here. Yes, okay. We'll continue then with this with our practice. And now we have a video. We have a short video about the WH questions and with V. Sure. Tell me. Eh, podría poner solamente la, la, la diapositiva anterior solamente para tomar captura de, de, de... Yes. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. El material no está subido en ningún en la plataforma, ¿verdad? O sí. eh, la clase. Mi. La clase. Ajá, estas diapositivas, por decirlo así. Sí, esas las encuentran como videos, porque siempre cada sesión está grabada. Entonces, ah, 
en la plataforma y siempre la van a encontrar acá en videoconferencia. Ajá, sí. Sí, 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 sí. Ya lo vieron ahí. Entonces ahí las aparecen todas, todas las sesiones. Ahí las pueden ver cuantas veces ustedes quieran. Ok, ok, gracias. Yes, you're welcome. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Eh, con respecto al examen, ¿dónde aparece? Porque yo, yo estuve haciendo las... Eh, oh. Las cosas del otro día y no, no vi el examen. No que que tiene que Pero, aparecerle ajá. cuando se va a curso. Tiene que irse acá y le va a aparecer midterm. Oh. Acá, cuando le da a curso. Y bueno, sección 1 ya la vimos, sección 2 y sección 3 que ya estamos por terminarla. Entonces, ajá. Pues acá viene siendo el, el mismo uh, el tema. Y aquí aparece midterm. Solo le da clic acá y ahí le van apareciendo las preguntas. ¿Será que ya la Y todavía lo podemos hacer. Es que yo no sabía igual y, y igual estuve intentando y no. No lo no parecía. Pero sí, todavía está habilitado. Sí, todavía lo pueden trabajar porque como no hemos terminado todavía eh, todo el material de los temas, todavía lo tienen habilitado. Solo traten de terminarlo. Eh, estos días, ¿verdad? No, no se vayan a atrasar. Es que yo, yo en el, en, en, ahí sí voy bien avanzada, voy como por el, por el 5, creo yo. Entonces pensé que de eso era. Sección, sección 5. Sí. <ríe> no, porque esos temas no los hemos visto todavía. Vaya, ya no Estamos voy a... todavía en la sección 3. Vaya. Ajá, porque si no se va a encontrar con ejercicios raros ahí que todavía no, no los hemos cubierto. Y si me quebré en la cabeza en uno, porque <ríe> no mucho, le, pero porque, al ajá, final... No los hemos visto. Ajá, pero al final sí logré resolverlo. Ah, perfecto, that's good. Sí, ustedes pueden ir avanzando, ahí no les va a bloquear el ejercicio. Ah, pueden bye. hacerlo, solo que para que, ajá, que no se vayan a bloquear en algo ahí que, que no han todavía tenido claro pues es mejor ir como, como a la par, ¿verdad? Claro, si ya saben que no podemos resolverlo, adelante. Ahí está bien. Yes. Gracias. Thank you. Okay. Yo fui a revisar yes. y ya lo hice. ¿Sorry? ¿Sorry? Yo fui, a, fui a revisar y ya hice el examen. Ah, yo fui a Now you can relax. <laughs> es que yo pensé que no lo había hecho y que quizás lo tomé como una... Como una clase más, no lo tomé como un examen. Ok. Ajá. Un ejercicio de práctica. Ah, ok. Ok. That is good. <laughs> ok, let's continue then with the video. We're going to listen to it. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn... Can you hear it? Se so, oye. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Adjectives yes. describe the personality and appearance of people. Let's get started by listening and repeating adjectives. I'll go ahead and play the audio and you should listen and repeat. He's really tall. He's short. She's a little heavy. She's thin. He's handsome. She's very pretty. They're good looking. She's really friendly. He's quiet. She's talkative. She's serious. He's funny. She's shy. Now, what I would like for you to do is to give an example for each adjective that you learn. I would like for you to talk about a friend, a family member, co-worker that you know whom you can describe with an adjective or adjectives that we just learned. For example, my friend John is really tall. My cousin Mary is a little short. My co worker Chris is a little heavy. After you do this, you should share your work in our discussion forums. 
right. Would you like to watch it one more time? Me gustaría escucharlo de nuevo. Yes. You would like? Yes, please. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn adjectives which describe the personality and appearance of people. Let's get started by listening and repeating adjectives. I'll go ahead and play the audio and you should listen and repeat. He's really tall. He's short. She's a little heavy. She's thin. He's handsome. She's very pretty. They're good looking. She's really friendly. He's quiet. She's talkative. She's serious. He's funny. She's shy. Now, what I would like for you to do is to give an example for each adjective that you learn. I would like for you to talk about a friend, a family member, coworker that you know whom you can describe with an adjective or adjectives that we just learned. For example, my friend John is really tall. My cousin Mary is a little short. My co-worker Chris is a little heavy. After you do this, you should share your work in our discussion forums. Let's check this part. As you saw on the video, there are different manners to describe a person. So notice that here. I'm going to play here this one. Through here. Notice that here you have different form of adjectives. So let's check here, the one from the video. You have the first one, which is, he's really tall. Look, tall. It's like the height, the statura, right? So what is tall? Alto. Alto, that's good. When you hear, want to put an emphasis, you can say, really? Para poner una, eh, una emphasis. Is it realmente, right? Muy, muy alto, right? Really tall. You can also say very tall. Very, really. It's like here. Very pretty. You put more emphasis. Se le pone más emphasis al adjetivo, a la descripción. We have another case. His shorts is the contrary than he. So what is short? Short. Pequeño. Pequeño. Pequeño, de estatura, right? It's short. Now we have the case of she. She's a little heavy. Little es también para poner emphasis un poco. Heavy. What's heavy? Pesado. Pesado, right? That's good. So a little heavy. Good. Heavy puede ser utilizado como para el peso, pero también personalidad. Cuando alguien tiene una personalidad pesada, como pésimo. You can say, oh, she's a very heavy person. It's heavy. Now, in this one, she's thin. So look at her. Physically, the she's thin. What is thin? The contrary thing, heavy. What is thin? Delgado. Delgado, that's good. Okay. What about handsome? He's handsome. Guapo. Guapo, Guapo right? So, okay. This one applies for men. Este adjetivo aplica para hombres, ya que para mujer pues utilizamos pretty, beautiful, you can say good looking also. You can say they're good looking. Now, remember that here the subject is they, but it's referring to two persons. They're good looking. Good looking can be like a 
eh, like they have a good physically, they have a good appearance. So they can apply for two persons. Este puede aplicar tanto para él como para ella. Like they have a good physical well, appearance. Uh -huh, so that's good looking. What about she's very pretty? Very pretty. Se puede decir nada más. She's pretty. O oh, para poner más énfasis, very pretty. Es muy linda. Es muy bonita. She's very pretty. Now, he's quiet. Quiet. What's quiet? Quiet. quiet bueno, tranquilo. Eh, Tranquilo, uh, yeah, that's good, silencioso, tranquilo, calmado, yes, can be a quiet, quiet, so he's quiet, she's quiet, my sister is quiet, my classmate is quiet, but now she is very different from quiet, she's talkative, what is talkative? Hablantín, hablantín, platicón, yeah, <laughs> platicón. Ruidoso sería noisy. Noisy is like here. Uh, for example, if you say a child is noisy. Niño es ruidoso. Bullisto, right? That is noisy. But it's not necessary to be talkative. No necesariamente tiene que ser uno platico para ser ruidoso. That can be different, right? Different personalities. So if you say talkative, platico. That is very common on the buses, right? En los buses también es bastante común encontrarse con alguien que es talkative. Say, oh, she is a talkative person. Or he is a talkative man. Now, let's go ahead with another description. She's shy. Look at her personality. Shy. Timido. Timido. Callado no. Callado sería como quiet. Quiet. Pero timido es... Shy, shy, it's timid. Now, another one. Funny. He's funny. What's funny? Divertido. 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 Chistoso, gracioso. Ha, that's correct. Yeah, like a joke. Como un chiste, right? Yeah. It's funny. In a circus, right? It's funny. She's serious. Yeah, look at that girl. Very. The little girl is very serious. Aha, uh -huh. good. So we Seria. have different. Seria. Is it serio? Esos adjetivos aplican tanto para hombre como para mujer. A excepción del que mencionamos, ¿verdad? Que handsome es para hombre. Pretty, beautiful, aplicar para mujer. Y good looking puede aplicar para ambos. Es, ay, bien parecido. Es guapo. Es bonita. Es good looking. Es de manners. Now, let's see the next one. She is really friendly. Es el really. Tiene un nivel de más énfasis que very. Es realmente, what is friendly? Amistosa. Amistosa. Amistosa, amigable. Excellent. That's good. Friendly. Good. So we have these parts. So you have them there. Now let's repeat them. He's really tall. Adali said, repeat please. He's really tall. Ada? He's really tall. Excellent. Good. Oh. Continue. Está it's raining. What's the weather like? It's raining. Your house. Por si no me escucha. Okay. <laughs> María Andrea, repeat. He's short. The audio, please. The microphone. He's short. He's, aha, uh -huh, good. He's short. Very good. Kenya Vanessa, she's a little heavy. She's a little heavy. She's a little heavy. Excellent. That's good. Gabriela Abigail. She's really friendly. She's really friendly. That's correct. You did it. They are good looking. They are good. Very good. Hey, nice one. Let's continue. Juan Alberto. He's really tall. Permítame el que se me ha hecho chiquita la... La ventana y no lo puedo ver. Ok. Ok. Permítame. No logro, no logro leer las letras. No? Ok. Only repeat. He's really tall. Ahorita sí. Yes. Ok. Excelente. He's really Perdón. tall. Permítame. 
No, no logra poner la pantalla completa. Okay, so let's repeat it. He is really tall. He is really tall. That's good. Él es realmente alto. He is really tall. Good. Debbie, continue. She's thin. She's thin. She's thin. She's thin. Very good. Aaron, let's continue. Now, he's handsome. He is handsome. That's correct. Rafael, she's very pretty. She is really pretty. 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 That's correct. Blanca Rosa, he's quiet. He's quiet. Excellent. Santa Margarita, she's talkative. She's talkative. She's talkative. She's talkative. That's good. She's. She's. She's talkative. Judy Edith, she's shy. She's shy. Very good. Marisol Aleman. She's serious. She's serious. 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 Very good. She's serious. Um serious. Serious. Yeah, that's good. Serious. Ariel. <laughs> Ariel, repeat. He's funny. Ariel, are you there, Ariel? In a present. Okay, Sachin. Sachin, are you present? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, let's repeat. He's funny. Okay. He's funny. Excellent. Rebecca Vanessa, repeat. She's talkative. She's talkative. Very good. Elmer, repeat it. They're good looking. They're good looking. That's good. They're good looking. Okay, now we have this exercise here. Now let's continue with more adjectives to describe more people. Let's take on the next one, but also we can remember about this. Let's remember how you can give information about different persons. For example, we have the name, that is Sarah, surname. Surname means the last name. Surname is synonymo de last name. Que es el apellido. Solo que es más común utilizar last name que surname. Pero ambos son nombres. ¿Cómo se utilizan? You have the surname, in this case it's Smith. Then you have the age, the birthday, favorite food, favorite place for a holiday. So let's talk about them. Let's say Judy Edith. What is her name? Her name? Oh, and this one about Sarah. Sarah. Her, oh, name, okay. her name. Your name is Sarah. Sarah, that's good. What is her last name? Apellido. Aha, uh -huh, that's good. So her last name or her surname is Smith. Smith. Now let's say, how old is Sarah? Sandra Margarita, how old is Sarah? She is 21 years old. She is 21 years old. Excellent. When is her birthday? When is her birthday? Sandra? Sandra Margarita? When is her birthday? Her birthday is on September 23. Very good job. Nice. Blanca, what is Sarah's favorite food? Favorite food is salad and beans. Beans. And beans. And beans. Beans. So, Sarah's favorite food is salad and beans. Sarah's favorite Sarah's food. Mm -hmm. Sarah's favorite food salad. Is salad. Is salad um, and beans. And beans. And beans, and beans. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Ariel, Ariel, are you present? 
Touch it. What is Sarah's favorite place for a holiday? Um, the beach. Here. The beach, the right? Beach. The beach, Monday? correct. So it can be San Diego Beach. Okay. It can be El Tunco Beach, right? El Bajahual. So, but in general, the beach. Very good. Nice. Rebecca Vanessa. Now, let's describe Jerry. What is Jerry's surname? Her surname. His. His, uh, his, his surname. His. Excellent. David. It's Davis. His surname is Davis. Now, how old is Jerry? How old is Jerry, Rebecca? Rebecca Vanessa? Yes. How old uh, is Jerry? He. Uh, He's uh -huh, 48. Mm -hmm. That's good. He's 48 or 48 years old. That's good. Fernando, Fernando, are you present? Fernando de Jesus. No. Elmer, Elmer, are you present? Elmer, Elmer de Nilsson. DC. Yes. Okay. Tell me, what is Jerry's favorite food? Favorite food is. His favorite food is. His fa favorite food is a sausage and egg. Sausages. Sausages. And. L L. And eggs. Very good. Now, what is his favorite place for a holiday? His, his favorite? His, his favorite place for a holiday, the lake. It's the lake. Uh -huh. the lake. That's all right. Very nice. Good. Okay. Now let's continue with Marisol. Marisol Aleman. Are you present? Marisol? Is? Yes. Stuart? Okay. Now let's continue with Stuart. That's correct. What is his surname? What is the Stuart's surname? Is Johnson? No. <laughs> it's Johnson. Yeah, that's correct. His surname is Johnson. 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 Is good. Johnson. That's good. How old is Stuart? How old is Stuart? One, three. He's? Three. Thirteen. Thirteen. Look, he's Forty. Three. 13, 13 years old. Right, good. Nice. Gabriela, Gabriela Vigail, when is his birthday? His birthday is January 30. Thursday, yeah, that's good. What is his favorite food? His favorite food is pizza. It's excellent. Aaron, what is his favorite place for a holiday? His favorite place for a holiday? The mountain. The mountains. Yeah, that's good. It's the mountains. Very good. Kenya Vanessa. Now let's see about Linda. What is Linda's surname? She is some... her, her some... surname. Her surname, so apellido, her surname. Her son. Surname. Something. Sir. Surname. Patrick. Is Patrick. Name. Is Patrick. Is Patrick. Good. How old is Linda? How old is Linda? She, she is. Two. She is. She is. Uh -huh. She is. She is. A uh, 32. 32. 32. All right. She's 32. That's good. Debbie, what is Linda's favorite food? She's favorite food. Her favorite food. Her favorite food? Uh, cheese sandwich. Okay. Her favorite food? It's like su. su Their favorite food. food. Uh -huh. Her. 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 Uh -huh. Como el posesivo. Her favorite food is? Her favorite Her favorite food is cheese sandwich. 
Cheese sandwiches, that's very good, nice. Juan Alberto, now, what is her favorite place for a holiday? The island. Ah, the island, the island. A veces la S no suena en algunas palabras. The y este es uno de los islands. Casos. The islands, very good. Okay. The islands. Very good. Okay, Maria Lilia, let's continue with Susan. What is Susan's surname? Uh, her surname? Colin. Is her surname is? Her surname Colin. Is Collins. Her surname is Collins. Colin. That's good, okay. How old is she? Uh, she is... She is 70? 70. Yeah, no. That's good. Uh -huh. 70. Look, 70. 70. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's good. She is 70 or 70 years old, right? Remember that we have two partners. The number of the age or 70 years old. Good. Okay. Judy Edith, when is her birthday? March. 30 of March. That's good. What is Susan's favorite food? Um, favorite food is broccoli. Her, her favorite food? Her, her favorite food is broccoli. Excellent. That's nice. Gabriela, what is her favorite place for a holiday? His favorite place? Her, her favorite? Her favorite place? place for holiday is the the countryside the countryside excellent look the countryside is uh, the contrary than the city it's el campo that's the countryside very good okay let's continue then with Ada Biceps Ada Biceps yes hello Let's see about Phil. <coughs> what is Phil's surname? Surname Sarandon. Uh -huh. His surname, su apellido. Ah. His surname. Ah, his his surname is Sarandon. Sarandon, <coughs> very good. How old is Phil? How old um, is Phil? His age is 18 oh, years okay. old. That's good. 18 years old. That's mm -hmm. all right. Good one. 18 years old. Nice. Now let's continue with uh, Judy. Judy did. When is his birthday? His birthday. Birthday. Is birthday. His birthday. Birthday. Is December birthday. December thirty four. Twenty four. Twenty four. Yeah, thirty four does not exist. Remember, <laughs> twenty four. That's twenty four. Correct. Yes. Okay. Nice. Juan Alberto, what is his favorite food? Favorite food. His favorite food is spaghetti. It's a spaghetti. Uh -huh. His favorite food is spaghetti. Good one. Maria Emilia, what is his favorite place for a holiday? Her favorite place. His, his, de él, right? Possessive of he. His favorite place. Favorite place for a holiday. A holiday. A is, big, is, is a big, a big city. A big Amazing. city. That's correct. Excellent job, guys. That's good. Okay. Now, you describe here the persons that they have information, right? They have the information about the name, they have the last name or the surname, the age, the birthday, the favorite food, the favorite place for a holiday. Now, like to review about more adjectives to describe, continue describing persons, 
we have these cases. Thing, right? Remember about thing. But, Ada, do you have a question? Or maybe? Maybe? Tell me. Sí, mis. Tengo yes, la tell duda. Me. Cuando yes. se ocupa, hay dos. Dos su, uh -huh. de pertenencia, ¿verdad? Está yes. he, his y her. Ajá. Uh -huh. Cuando se ocupa, mis, porque ahí sí me confundí cuando me preguntó. Oh, porque porque, porque había unas que una compañera contestaban his uh -huh. y otros contestaban her. A mí me yes. tocó contestar her. Yes. Pero siempre es su. Entonces, exactly. esa es mi duda, mis. Correct. Ok. In that case, it depending on the person, the possession of the person. Because, for example, here, if you talk about, for example, Sarah, if you say that question, if you say, what is Sarah's, ese apostrofe es, indica que esta persona es el dueño de algo. En este caso, el dueño de su nombre, right? O eh, de su apellido. In this case, what is Sarah's? Okay, this is the question. ¿Cuál es el apellido de Sarah? Para decir que un posesivo de ella, su de ella, then you need to say her. Her surname is, and what is her surname? Smith. Smith, Smith. Smith. excellent, that's correct, Smith. You see, you have a possessive form. So her is a possessive of she. Ese es su de ella. La traducción siempre es la misma de su, pero de acuerdo a quién sea el dueño de. Now, if you ask, for example, what is, uh, for example, Stuart. What is the Stuart? What? Favorite food, because it's also a possession, right? Stuart, favorite food. And now, what do you use? His or her? His. Yes. Yes. That's yes. good. His, right? Porque ahora el posesivo es de él. His favorite. Favorite food. His. And what is his favorite food? What is the store's favorite food? Pizza. Pizza, excellent. Okay. So that is the difference. It depends on the subject. Depende del sujeto. Tiene que ir. De acuerdo a quién es el dueño. Su de él, his. Su de her, él, her. ella, his, él. De él o de ella. Porque el sujeto eh, va a ser diferente. ¿verdad? El sujeto es he. Para él, así como acá. Mi sujeto de Sarah, recordemos que el sujeto pronombre, este sustituye al nombre específico. En lugar de decir Sara, pero porque ya lo mencionamos, ¿verdad? ya sabemos a quién nos referimos, entonces podemos utilizar she. Pero si yo quiero hablar acerca de una pertenencia de Sara, entonces debo utilizar her. Her favorite food, her name, eh, her favorite color, her book, her favorite place for a holiday. So it's her. Pero si me refiero a una posesión de él, entonces tendría que ser his. It's para her. ella siempre se va a utilizar her y para él is. His. 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 Pero si habla de pertenencia. Ajá. Si solo hablamos de eh, el sujeto. Nombre de es. Nombre, Ajá. Es she, es, he. Excellent. Ajá. Thank so you. Only, only depends. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes. Any other sí, question? Sir. Yes. Tell me. En el caso, vaya, mira, la duda que yo tengo también es porque eh, lo mismo que preguntaba Nedi, que vaya, por ejemplo, en el caso de Stuart, cuando decimos su comida favorita, entonces siempre será, tendría que ser he, his favorite food o, o her favorite food. Her es solo para ella, es súper para eh, ella. Solo para entonces ella. siempre, va, siempre ahí, vamos, ahí, ahí vamos a entender la diferencia de que her solo va a ser en el caso de... de, 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 de una de, pertenencia de ella. De ella. Y de ella. en el caso de, de, del hombre sería his. His, correct. Ajá, porque tiene que ir de acuerdo al, al sujeto, de acuerdo al dueño, en este caso el dueño, de algo. 
Sí, sí, soy y, el, y el gel se va, se va a poder utilizar en, en, en una señorita, en una señora, ahí, ahí no, va a haber, no va a haber diferencia, ¿verdad? No difference in the age, no, no hay diferencia en cuanto a la edad, solo diferencia en el género. Si es de ella, pertenencia de ella es her. Si es pertenencia de él, entonces es his. Y es cuando nos referimos a algo en específico, ¿verdad? Ajá, correcto, porque siempre mencionamos como la posesión su, de alguien. Su, su qué. Siempre tiene que ir la pertenencia después. Incluso no solo para pertenencia, sino también eh, para mencionar personas. En ese caso ya no lo eh, identificamos como pertenencia o posesión, sino como una relación. Por ejemplo, cuando dice que her father, her father is tall, su papá es alto. Ahora acá, ya, father is no possession, but is ownership. Eh, when you have ownership, is possession, but you can say relationship. Relationship, in this case, is a person. Tu organ se mantiene pues una relación con la persona, right? Hay convivencia, okay. hay interacción. So that can be air with a person. Incluso con las, con las mascotas, nosotros no tenemos relación con las mascotas, right? We have a, a good relationship, right? Because there is interaction, hay una interacción, hay comunicación. There's communication. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're very welcome. Entonces, teacher, yes. eh, his y her, estamos hablando de pronombres posesivos. Ese es un adjetivo posesivo. Adjetivo posesivo. Ajá, es possessive adjectives. Gracias. Possessive adjectives. Thank you. Le voy a mandar eh, otro link para que puedan ver así más claro y con más ejercicios con los possessive adjectives. ¿Han ido practicando los que les he enviado? Uno que es de agenda web. Ahí aparecen unos súper prácticos. Fíjense que a mí, fíjense que a mí empecé a practicar los teachers. Ajá. Y de repente yo no entendía la concordancia porque ah, la página sí. me la traducía. Y ah. entonces, y yo, y yo no entendía que realmente cuando de repente Ajá. voy viendo que la página estaba traducida, entonces vine yo y lo puse en inglés. Ahí sí le entendí. Ajá. ¡Oh, wow! <risa> ¡Excuse me! <risa> no, entendí los ejercicios, no entendía más o menos. Entendía los ejercicios, ¿verdad? Okay. La concordancia de los ejercicios que preguntaba no la entendía. Hasta Ajá. que ya después lo puse en inglés, entonces ya, ya ahí lo entendí. Ajá, porque ya están adoptando. Ya no quiero hablar español, Nelly. No, Ay, qué no, no, I don't understand Spanish, only English. <risa> <risa> no, qué bueno. Y a mí sí, me pasó bueno. al revés. <risa> yes, it, at the contrary. <risa> Igual, yo se lo pongo en español fácil es porque saben en español. Sí, a ellos lo que les parece ha sido ¿verdad? como la traducción en ellos, pero ese, esa página de agenda web es bastante práctica, es bastante bonita, porque no les aparece solo de ir comple completando, sino que también pueden eh, encajar, de conectar en cuanto a los números, también les aparece eh, algunas oraciones en cuanto a pronunciación, o sea, hay bastantes ejercicios, bastante prácticos, así que ayudan bastante. So entretenidos. Y son bien entretenidos, bien interactivos. So you can practice them. Any other question, guys? Eh, teacher. Yes. No. Eh, disculpe. Sí, no, no, este, no le puedo responder cuando estaba la cuando pasó lista. Ah, ok. Let me check them. Lo voy, lo voy a poner en la lista. Let's bueno, eh, soy number eight. Ah, ok, number eight. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Ok. Any other question or comments? Nothing. Nothing. No? Nothing. All right, guys. It was a pleasure. One more time. Eh, licenciada, este, ¿hasta Tell qué me. tiempo tenemos para contestar eh, lo que es parte de, de, de la lección número tres? Porque sí, yo me he quedado bastante corto. No le he Perfecto. podido trabajar. Okay, eh, traten, traten ¿Aún tenemos llegar. hasta la noche o hasta cuándo? Sí, sí, sí. Traten de... Eh... 
si pueden, hasta el punto que hemos visto ahora. Vale, ahora, el de los adjetivos, ese si gustan, no lo realicen. Si hay algunos que ya lo pueden realizar, lo pueden, lo pueden hacer. Pero si no, pues pueden llegar hasta el tema anterior que tenemos. De acuerdo a la eh, información personal. A ver, el anterior que vimos, el WH Questions, que es el punto 3.10. Que le va a aparecer el ejercicio de eh, 3.11 al 3.11. Porque hasta ahí es que hemos llegado. Entonces pueden avanzar en esa parte. 3.11. Ese es el, el ejercicio, ¿verdad? Que es el knowledge check. Mis, pero lo que están pidiendo es hasta los, hasta el examen, ¿va? Uh -huh. Pero traten de avanzarlo. Si ustedes pueden, ya lo pueden empezar. Sí, que yo ya lo uh -huh. hice. Ah, oh, that's correct. No problem. <ríe> sí, como les mencionaban ellos, este, ustedes pueden, ellos les dan la opción de que ustedes pueden ir avanzando. O al menos de llegar hasta el tema que se ha visto. Para no atrasarse. Que pueden ir a, a, avanzando. ¿no? Porque están en el porque a veces llega como el día, ¿verdad? Y de que sí, no lo he terminado todavía, tengo un montón de ejercicios y ya se bloquea, uno se, se estresa. Entonces, es bueno una, ir avanzando. Una preguntita, Miss, yes. es que a mí, a mí ahí me queda la duda, porque en el grupo de WhatsApp eh, nos escriben, ¿verdad? De que uh -huh. tienen hasta tal día para que completen la unidad 3. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. la semana anterior que era vacación, eh, obviamente tuvimos clases este lunes. Pero ahí nos pedían de que termináramos o completáramos hasta la Gracias, unidad 3 junto con, con el examen, ¿verdad? Obviamente Exacto. habían temas que no los habíamos desarrollado. Uh -huh. eh, ahora creo que enviaron un mensaje, o ayer no me recuerdo, que decían de que ter teníamos que terminar ya esa, e esa sección, por así decirlo. Uh -huh. Entonces yo creo que esa es la parte que nos genera duda. ¿Hasta sí. qué fecha tenemos como para ir completando? O si vamos uh -huh. a llevar a la par de los temas que vamos viendo día con día para ir desarrollando o aunque no los hayamos visto, tenemos que desarrollarlo. Uh -huh. No, traten de irlo desarrollando de acuerdo a lo que vamos viendo, porque si yo les consultaba a ellos, ¿verdad? Mí, dice que ellos todavía no han terminado de, de ver esos temas, ¿verdad? Y, y cómo avanzar en eso, pues, ¿verdad? Temas que uno no, no ha visto todavía. Entonces, traten de ir avanzando hasta donde hemos Exacto. llegado. Porque okay. no, no hemos terminado okay. eso todavía. Ahora, si ustedes, digamos, hay temas que a veces uno, aunque no los haya visto, pero usted, eh, eh, acá en las sesiones, pero anteriormente tal vez en otras clases ya la vieron, entonces pueden tener la oportunidad de realizarlos. Sí, sí. Entonces, de okay, hasta donde hemos llegado ahora. Ok. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful night. Sweet dreams. We'll continue tomorrow. <risa> eh, yo tengo una pregunta, Miss. Yes, tell este, me, tell fíjese me. que, como a mí mi teléfono se me arruinó, entonces, eh, no sé si el martes parece que fue, que me habían mandado de que ya podíamos mandarlo para el, para el módulo 2, mm. pero decía que hasta el 9. Entonces a mí se me ah. borró la ficha. Entonces, la no ficha, sé cómo. Me, yo creo que la enviaron en el grupo. Voy a revisar y se la voy a enviar de nuevo. Yo creo que la enviaron antes de vacación, ¿verdad? Que habíamos salido uh -huh. de vacación, me parece. No, en la semana de vacación la... Se fue, ¿verdad? No, no, no me acuerdo qué día fue, sí. Sí fue. El lunes, ¿verdad? El lunes, sí. Fue el lunes. La, la, la enviaron al correo. No, al WhatsApp. Bueno, a mí me lo mandaron al personal. Que yo vi que le enviaron ¿Cuál? Grupo. A mí también me lo mandaron al personal, no lo mandaron al grupo. Ahorita Ajá. se lo voy a mandar, Emilia. Al correo. Ah, ok, perfecto, ok. Por eso no lo he mandado. Pero de, habían dicho okay. que es el 9, ¿verdad? Sí, sí así había mencionado. Ajá. Sí, mañana es 9. Oh, yes, Hasta mañana. Very fast. <ríe> Está, está en lo, en el grupo, porque si se van a enlaces, ahí están los enlaces para que entren a Drive y está en el grupo la ficha. Sí, pero porque es que, o sea, ella se le borró todo, perdió. Se me borró todo. Ajá, con el teléfono. Ajá. Sí. Entonces en el grupo Ajá. solo me aparecía lo de así. Ajá. Ok. Entonces, 
Bueno, no. Ni se Ni se chave. Pero solo me aparece el enlace de... Porque hasta el enlace me había perdido de la clase. Entonces solo así pude conectar. Ah, porque okay. solo me aparece el enlace del, de aquí, del, del Zoom. No le quedan guardados Ajá. en los enlaces que tiene el grupo. Se le borran también. No, es que como el teléfono se me arruinó, entonces... Se le borró todo. Se me borró todo, literal. O cuando se resetea también, eso pasa, se pierde un montón de información. Teacher. Hello. What's your name? Hello. What's your name? My name is Sandra. Oh. How are you? Sandra. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to hear you. Good night. Have a good night then, guys. Good night. Goodbye. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. See you Bye. tomorrow night. Goodbye. Good night, teacher. Have a good night. Good night. Thank you good very night. much. Take care. See you, Bye. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Thank you. Goodbye. 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 Thank you. Bye. <laughs>